Hey everyone, it's Bruno here with Elvira Media, and today I want to show you how to create lower thirds just like this in Canva. So without wasting your time, let's hop onto the computer and get started. Okay, so we're going to go to canva.com. Very simple. You should have an account. If you don't, feel free to make one because it is free. And then all we're going to do is going to create a design. And you can choose the custom size or you can look for YouTube video chapter. You're basically going to have a video sized dimensions, which is 1920 by 1080. Now that we're here, it's very simple. So what I like to do first is actually set the background to green. I like using this light green and then I actually move this to the very top right so I get the brightest, most contrasty green I can. And now this acts as our transparent background. So all we have to do is just add something. We can even use some of these presets to help give us some inspiration. But for this example, I'm just going to go ahead and go to actually one of these presets, which look really nice, and use one that looks very usable. Like even this one looks quite promising. Let's try it. Authentic leather blue wood. Obviously, this isn't going to work as a lower third in terms of what's in there, but we can just change these contents. So let's say this is my name. Let's do this too. Bruno Pozo. And let's say my title was content creator. Now we have this lower third. We just place it here. And I love using the grid lines that come up automatically when you have these open because it allows us to place it perfectly in a in the spot in the video that's going to be very natural. And I think here is a very natural lower third. Of course, we can always put this in other positions. I like using this. So sometimes you need the center, which can be nice if I was centered, which I think I was in this video. So I will actually put it there for this side. Now, this is where it gets fun and creative because in Canva, we have options to animate our text and our pages. So for example, we can choose to animate the whole page by selecting the background. And if you go any of these, you select one of these presets and it'll actually just preview what the animation will do. So simple kind of does a fade in, sleek kind of slides in, which I like. Fun is an interesting one. I actually like that. It's like it kind of slides in. Party, it bounces in. Disco, ooh, I kind of like that one. Corporate, also very, very sleek. Chill, whoa, that one's very slow. So you have a bunch of options. I won't go through all of them with you. I feel free to just test them out on your own time. But for for this sake of this example, I'm actually just going to go with, let's say I liked corporate and that, that's all there was to it, right? So it's a very simple animation. We can even hit play to preview again. Boom. We can adjust how long this clip lasts. I would say eight to 10 seconds is really good. So I will do tens because I can always trim it back down. Whoops. Make sure you hit enter when you type in the, the time. And then this sometimes changes the speed of the animation. So feel free to just make sure it's at the right speed. Perfect. I mean, that's, that's exactly what I wanted. But the thing is, if you do a page animation, there's no exit animation. So I want to create an exit animation. So I'm going to click both of these. I'm going to go to animate. And then for the animation, I actually might just do a wipe on exit. And let's see how this actually changes. So we have an entrance here. And then if we go towards the end of the clip, it wipes off. So you can get really creative with how you pair the animations. You can do a page, you can do each one of these individually have their own animation. Uh, but I'll just keep it simple for now. And let's say we're very happy with that. Now all there's left to do is actually click here. Actually, let me change this to white so it kind of contrasts better. All you gotta do is go to share. I would rename this actually to, actually that's fine, lower third just so I have it. Click share. We're going to go to download. MP4 is perfectly fine. We're going to hit download and it'll begin its process of downloading. All right, now it's done downloading. All there's left to do is actually hop onto our editing program and add this in. And I'll show you how to remove the green screen in the back. All right, now here we are in Adobe Premiere, but it doesn't matter what program you use as long as you have a way to chroma key or ultra key, which I'll get to shortly. So we're going to upload our footage. We're going to put it in here. Now we're going to add our lower third where we believe the video has the moment that we need the lower third in. So I'm going to take a listen. Hey everyone, it's Bruno here with Elvira Media. Perfect. So I, that's roughly where I would want it. I would say maybe even closer to here. And as of right now, it's not removing the background. But this is where we go into our effects. We're going to look up Ultra. And you'll see Ultra Key here. It may be called something else on your program. Chroma Key, Ultra Key. 
um, some sort of key. You can even just search key. I think this program has a few other options. Once we've applied the ultra key to our green screen, we're going to have to go here into the effects page and you'll see the effect and you'll see that the color is set to black. So all we're going to do is actually go to here, click the eyedropper here and select the green that we have put in the background. And now you'll see that it automatically makes that part transparent while keeping the lower third intact. So now let's actually come back here and play back. Hey everyone, it's Bruno here with Elvira Media. And today I want to show you how to create lower thirds just like this in Actually, I guess I would even do it like right here where I say this. And let's say this is too long and I want the animation to come out sooner. I would just simply cut it. So I'll go somewhere here and I'll just bring it in. So you, you can actually probably make it five seconds was probably an appropriate amount of time for a lower third in this case. But uh, you can just set that up however you'd like. But let's see how it looks now. We create lower thirds just like this in Canva. So without wasting your time, let's hop onto the computer and get started. Perfect. So there you go, guys. That's how you can do a really simple uh, lower thirds. Of course, this applies to anything in Canva. So you just have to make the backgrounds green or a separate color from the elements that you want to uh, include in your video. You can do this for graphics, titles, lower thirds. I'll show you a few more in the future. I actually have a previous video on how I did this for motion graphics that you can check out if you're interested. But yeah, feel free to use this. I find this super helpful and it makes the workflow a lot easier because you don't have to manually animate all this or find these uh, paid or sometimes free options, but they sometimes lag compared to Canva. It just works seamlessly. And that's all for me. Thank you so much for watching. Pretty straightforward tutorial. I hope this was helpful to you guys. If you have any requests for other Canva tips, feel free to leave them down below in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace for now.